Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and today's lesson is on triangle side lengths. Please make sure that you have your notes to fill in as we go through the video. Um, if you don't have your notes, you'll need to take notes on paper or in your journal. Okay, believe it or not, you cannot always form a triangle from three given line segments. The sum of the lengths of any side, any two sides of a triangle should be greater than the length of the third side. This is what we call the triangle inequality. To determine if three side lengths will form a triangle, the sum of any two sides has to be greater than the third side. Now, you have to go through all three sides. For example, if I add up four plus five, is that greater than seven? Yes, it is. Four plus five is nine. So that would work. But now we have to try the other combinations as well. So if we do five plus seven, is that greater than the third length of four? Five plus seven is 12. That is greater than four. Now let's try our last combination. If we do seven plus four, that should be greater than five. Is it greater than five? Yeah, seven plus four is 11. That is greater than five. So when all three combinations, when their sums were greater than the third length, then we know it forms a triangle. So this can form a triangle. Let's try the other example. We have four plus two. Is that greater than the third side of seven? Well, four plus two is six, and six is not greater than seven. Because it's not greater than the seven, we can stop right there. This will not form a triangle one of the sides will be too short and it won't reach the other side. And that's all there is to it. So let's do an example. Tell whether a given triangle can have sides with a given lengths. So we have to try all three combinations. So I'm just going to start in order and I'm going to do okay. 11 plus 6. Is that greater than 13? 11 plus 6 is 17. That is greater than 13. Now I'm going to try moving on and do the next combination. 6 plus 13. 6 plus 13, is that greater than the third side of 11? 6 plus 13 is 19, that is greater than 11. And my last combination is going to go to the 13 plus 11. Is that greater than 6? Well, it's 24 and that's definitely greater than 6. So yes, these three side lengths will form a triangle. Now I want you to pause the video and I want you to try the next one on your own. When you've got your answer, come back and check it. Okay, let's see how you did. First combination, I'm going to take the first two sides, 5 plus 15. Is there some greater than 9? Sure, 20 is greater than 9. Now I'm going to move to the next two sides for my next combination. 15 plus 9, that needs to be greater than 5. Well, 15 plus 9 is 24, that's definitely greater than 5. And then my last combination, 9 plus 5, that should be greater than 15. Well, 9 plus 5 is 14, and 14 is not greater than 5. So hopefully, you got no as your answer. These three side lengths will not form a triangle. And our last example, which value could be the length of x? So we've got two sides already. I want you to determine, should x be 35 to make a triangle, or would it make a triangle with a side length of 13? Would it work for both? Would it work for neither? Pause the video, come up with your answer. Come back and check. Okay, let's see how you did. If we made this side length 35 and we added 20 plus 13, that's 33. And 33 is not greater than 25, than 35, sorry. So 35 does not work. So let's try 13. 20 plus 13 is the 33, which is greater than 13, so that works. Hopefully you're writing it down. Let's try the next two sides. 13 plus 13, is that going to be greater than 20? 13 plus 13 is 26, yes it is. And now let's try our last combination. 13 plus 20, is that greater than 13? Yes, 13 plus 20 is 33, which is greater. So 13 was the side length that you should have in order to create a triangle. And that's it.